we're going to take an inside look at what we know about the causes of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD. But first, it might be helpful to talk for a minute about what doesn't cause ADHD. There are a lot of ideas flying around. ADHD isn't real, and it's often blown out of proportion. ADHD is caused by a poor diet or too much television. ADHD is caused by poor schooling or poor parenting. All of these are myths. ADHD is a real mental health issue. This has been confirmed by decades of scientific research. So by now you're probably asking, what does cause ADHD? ADHD is a real medical condition. Some doctors consider it a neurobehavioral disorder, which means that what is happening in your brain affects how you behave. No one knows exactly what causes ADHD, but studies suggest that people with ADHD may have chemical differences in their brains compared to people without ADHD. Chemicals carry signals to and from the nerves. In people with ADHD, there may be fewer chemicals in the space between the nerves. This can affect the signals that pass between the nerves. This chemical difference may be related to the symptoms of inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity seen in ADHD. The good news is there are a lot of steps you can take as part of a total treatment plan to help you or your child manage the symptoms of ADHD, including Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, Positive Reinforcement, Individual or Group Therapy. Your doctor may also recommend a stimulant or other medical therapy as part of treatment. Stimulant medications may change the amounts of chemicals in the brain of someone with ADHD, which may affect the signals between the nerves. Focalin XR is a prescription medicine used for the treatment of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, in patients aged six years and older, and should be used as part of a total treatment program for ADHD that may include counseling or other therapies. Now let's review some important safety information. Focalin XR is a federally controlled substance, C2, because it can be abused or lead to dependence. Keep Focalin XR in a safe place to prevent misuse and abuse. Selling or giving away Focalin XR may harm others and is against the law. Focalin XR is a capsule filled with beads. Some of them dissolve right away and start working fast. The other half of the beads dissolve about four hours after intake. This helps Focalin XR provide up to 12 hours of symptom control in children aged six to 12 years. Focalin XR should not be chewed, crushed, or divided. If you or your child cannot swallow the capsule whole, open it and sprinkle the small beads of medicine over a spoonful of applesauce and swallow it right away without chewing. Ask your doctor if Focalin XR is right for you or your child. Focalin XR, or dexmethylphenidate hydrochloride extended release capsules, is a prescription medicine used for the treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, in patients aged six years and older, and should be used as part of a total treatment program for ADHD that may include counseling or other therapies. Focalin XR is a federally controlled substance, C2, because it can be abused or lead to dependence. Keep Focalin XR in a safe place to prevent misuse and abuse. Selling or giving away Focalin XR may harm others and is against the law. Tell your doctor if you or your child have ever abused or been dependent on alcohol, prescription medicines, or street drugs, or there is a family history of these problems. Focalin XR should not be used if you or your child are very anxious, tense, or agitated, have an eye problem called glaucoma, have tics or Tourette's syndrome, or a family history of Tourette's syndrome. If you are taking or have taken an antidepressant called a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, or MAOI, in the past 14 days, or are allergic to anything in Focalin XR. Focalin XR may not be right for you or your child. 
What is the most important information I should know about Focalin XR? The following have been reported with use of dexmethylphenidate hydrochloride and other stimulant medicines. Sudden death in patients who have heart problems or heart defects, stroke and heart attack in adults, and increased blood pressure and heart rate. Tell your doctor if you or your child have any heart problems, heart defects, or high blood pressure, or a family history of these problems. Tell your doctor about any mental problems you or your child have, or about a family history of suicide, bipolar illness, depression, new or worse aggressive behavior or hostility, and, in children and teenagers, new psychotic symptoms such as hearing voices, believing things that are not true, or suspicion or new manic symptoms. Call your doctor right away if you or your child have any worsening signs of heart problems, such as chest pain, shortness of breath, or fainting or worsening mental symptoms. Other serious side effects include seizures, mainly in patients with a history of seizures, and eyesight changes or blurred vision. Talk to your doctor if your child experiences slowing of growth, height, and weight. Children should have their height and weight checked often while taking Focalin XR. Your doctor may stop Focalin XR treatment if a problem is found during these checkups. Tell your doctor about any other medications you or your child have recently taken or are currently taking. Do not start any new medicine while taking Focalin XR without telling your doctor first. Focalin XR should not be used in children under six years of age, since safety and efficacy in this age group have not been established. If you take Focalin XR for an extended period of time, your doctor may periodically take a blood test. Common side effects seen with Focalin XR were headache, upset stomach, trouble sleeping, anxiety, decreased appetite, dry mouth, dizziness, and nervousness.